Hey guys, how you doing? Bringer here. I got another Aircraft Carrier preview video for you today. We're going to be going over the Imperial Japanese Navy Carrier Line. Just like my last video, going over the American ships, we're only going to be looking at the speed of the ship, the type of aircraft the ship has, and the armor viewer. And we'll be going over the, the little history of each ship here. If you're new to the channel and you want to support what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel, leave a like below, leave a comment, it helps the channel out. Alright, let's get into it. First ship in the Japanese carrier line is the Hosho. The Hosho entered service in 1922. There was one ship in the series. The first ship in the world to be specifically designed and completed as an aircraft carrier. The ship was moderately sized and could carry a small air group. She had a decent speed and was only slightly inferior to a light cruiser in terms of armament. Let's have a look at her. That is not her. Sorry about that. Click on the Hosho preview. <laughs> no tower as you can see we'll do this a little different than I did in the other video we'll look at the speed and stuff first maneuverability 25 knots she's, she can she's faster than the um, equivalent American carrier by 10 knots Aircraft. Her attack aircraft are A4Ns. Torpedo bombers B4Y gene. Whatever that is. And the bombers D1A Sussy. Cool part. Let's look at the armor view over. As you can see, with the American low tier carrier, there is no armor. You're gonna have the um I guess there's your cotton tower, that's kinda cool. It's in between guns on this one. Um this off. As you can see she she does have the multiple layers. It's gonna be a carrier trait, the multiple layers like that. Her armor is the same on both sides everything back on and that's the host show it's the arm review for you want to look at it closer pause the video thickest armor is 20 mil 19 on the conning tower all right let's move on to the next ship the Ryujo might have said that wrong, probably did. Did my best. This one could possibly, this is going to be uh, tier 5 in our game. At least that's what it was in the um, preview video that War Gaming released. Entered service in 1933, ships in the Series 1. An aircraft carrier built under the restrictions of the Washington Naval Treaty of 1922. Owing to a double deck hangar, she could carry an impressive air group despite her limited displacement. Her drawbacks were low survivability and the small size of her flight deck, which hampered takeoff and landing for squadrons. Oof, she's rough looking. She is rough looking. She's got a stubby nose front here. Ain't bad. It's it's different, but that was sketchy landing and taking off with these wires. That was real sketchy. All right, speed twenty eight knots. She's scooting along. Aircraft. 
Get the A5M Claude. Claudi for her attack aircraft. Torpedo bombers are going to be the B4Y jeans again. Bombers, D3A valves. Bomber layout. Looks like the same on both sides. Here, take the bow off, take her skirts off. She looks like she's gonna be a whole lot of Citadel. Oh, yeah, low survivability, like the um, the little story we read about it said. <clears throat> so, that's a look at the Ryu Joe. Get everything back on for you here. Basically, you're going to be able to punish these things, you know, once we get up close to them. It's not going to take much to knock them out. You're going to be citadel in it wherever you hit, basically. Just aim for that waterline. This one didn't have the three decks like some of the other ones did, if you notice that. <clears throat> it's got this one big layer here. Looks like it might have hanger plating. Okay, it does have some plating down here. But it's not actually casemate armor. Alrighty. Let's move on. Shokaku. This could be our tier 7. Shokaku entered service 1941. Ships in the series 2. This heavy aircraft carrier was designed on the basis of... Hero class using the experience gained in building ships of the same type. Compared to her predecessor, she was larger and boasted superior armor and AA armament. During World War II, the ship's AA capabilities were significantly enhanced. Do a little tour of the Shikaku here, real quick. Should have did this slow sweep and look on the other ship. Sorry about that. Just so we can see everything on her. The details. Ah, I like that. How this, the stacks shoot out the side. I think that's pretty cool looking. It's kind of like having an inside exhaust on your sports car. Pretty cool. Alright. That's a look. Maneuverability. Shokaku is scooting along at 34 knots. That's one knot faster than any of the American carriers we looked at yesterday or in the last video I don't know if it was yesterday for you probably not aircraft her attack aircraft let's get down there and look at them a6 m5 zeros so the Shikaku you start getting the zeros to the, the infamous Japanese attack plane very maneuverable Torpedo bombers, you have to B six and Tenzin. They're pretty cool looking too. Then you get the bombers here. Where's the bombs? I don't even see the bomb on the plane. Maybe they're internal. Doors open up. Anyways, those are the uh, D4Y3 Sui C. Sui C. Definitely said that wrong. I apologize. Armor layout. That's probably what most of you guys want to see, anyways. Just the armor. 
Shokaku's got some armor on her. 19 millimeter deck. It's actually saying auxiliary room. Okay, yeah, so it's auxiliary room deck. Hanger plating. She's the same on both sides. Just got the same little below the water armor plating areas. 19 millimeter bow, 19 millimeters all over the place. So they are the Japanese carriers are proven to be, you know, they have weaker decks, so they're going to be more vulnerable to the plunge and fire than the Americans were. She does have a nice uh, casemate armor decking there. Which is pretty significant 127 so maybe she won't be like these areas here will be the vulnerable spots avoiding that deck casemate because what's the top of the citadel top of the citadel is pretty soft under that 25 these pieces are 152 152 and then it has 127 on top of it. Hmm. It's not too bad. Click everything back on. Let you guys have a look at it. So you can pause it. Get the aerial view. So you can see they're slightly different on the sides. Not a bad ship. That's the Shokaku. This one here, the Hakuru. Hakuru. Could be a legendary ship. It might be our tier 7 ship. We really don't know yet. But we're going to have a look at her either way. Don't forget her story. Year of Design. 1942 an aircraft carrier designed to be an enlarged and enhanced version of the Taiho class Hakuru was superior to her predecessor in size armor and artillery power owing to an increased hangar she could carry the largest air group among all Japanese aircraft carriers Big girl. Big girl. Look at these freaking guns on it. Holy moly. She ain't playing, boys. She came to party. Look at the torpedoes on these planes. Holy moly. Just rock out with your torpedo out. Oof. Big boy torpedoes. Almost as long as the plane. All right, calm down. Calm it down. Sorry. I know my mouse is annoying. It's over here clicking up a storm. What's this? This is like the captain's little private bug out boat. And just He's like, yep, yeah, no, nah, I'm out of here. Hops in there and buggies comes out here all right let's get into it boom let's swim to the flat back here maneuverability 34.5 knots so she's even slightly faster than Shokaku was one and a half knots faster than the fastest American carrier aircraft Get the A7M Repu. Repu. Said that wrong. Can't help it. Torpedo bombers. Get the C6N Sayun. The biggest torpedoes ever. 
Let's say how big this torpedo is. We're looking type 91 mod 7 torpedo. Okay. For the bombers, you get the A7M Repu. Okay, so they're using the same planes for your attack aircraft and for your bombers. Might as well, right? Easier to build the same thing over and over to build two separate things separately. Armor view. Let's have a look at this big girl. Look at that deck. 95 mil deck. That's even um, that's heavier duty than the Americans was. Or the top tier. Midway. 19 mil foreign and plating bow. Side armor. 130 mil belt. Structure ain't nothing. You're going to overpen that most of the time, probably. It's Conan Tower 57. <clears throat> Half to end deck. Right, let's take some parts off. So what's her skirts look like? Oh, okay, the skirts are just that part under the water. So how much the case made are we looking at? Okay, so her citadel's above the waterline. Quite a bit. It's the same on both sides of the ship. Oh, wrong button. I'm not seeing multiple deck layers here. Get the 95 mil upper deck, 48 millimeter citadel deck. Now let me pop everything back on it real quick and do some looks so you guys can have a look at it and pause it if you like. She slightly bows out more over here to compensate for the tower. <clears throat> so that's the Shokaku or the Hakuru. My bad. It's one of them. Well, I hope you guys liked the preview video of the Japanese carrier line. I enjoyed making these type of videos trying to pull as many stats as I can you know give you guys something to look at for the carriers that are upcoming to legends I'm excited about it if you guys enjoyed the video consider subscribing leave a comment leave a like on the video it helps YouTube know that I have a good video and other people get a chance to see it so you can support the channel that way and it's free catch you in the next video I'll be doing the German carrier line next.